song on his playlist that says Victoria. If they listen to that song and they hear mine after, they'll hear the whole storyline and the concept behind it. Um, like I said, it was pretty much just, you know, being inspired listening to that song afterwards and in the middle of writing something. I mean, I didn't think the song was going to blow up like it did, you know, and I'm very excited that it did. I didn't think people were going to really, you know, um, relate to it, but when I put it out there, I got so much good response on it, I was pretty much shocked myself. So, um, you know, that's how the lyrics came about. It's pretty much just adding on to somebody else's story, just my version of it. And, um, yeah, I'm glad everybody is, is, is feeling it. You know what? Everybody in the studio really loved that. Didn't you guys give her a hand clap? Yes, yes. <laughs> siggy, siggy. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, really nice. We certainly, certainly enjoyed that one, man, to the utmost. That was fantastic. So, anyway, yeah, man, it's just, you are a very good writer. Thank you. You know what I mean? That's kind of hard. I mean, it's easy to sing, but in rap, I wouldn't say easy, but it's. I think it's easier to sing in rap than it is to be creative and to figure out how you're going to put all these words together. Yes. And, and then because you get, you guys have time sh constraints involved, that you have to condense it down to like three minutes, you know what I mean? So that's just kind of hard sometimes. Have you ever wrote, wrote a song for like eight minutes and then had to condense it down to three? Um. I mean, because you had so much to say on that song. So you just kept writing, kept writing, kept writing. This is my point. And then you had to yeah. con condense it down to like three minutes because you can only do like three or four minutes on a, on a CD. Actually, yes, I have. But, you know, being a writer... Um if it's going to go on your album, you should have it as long as you want it to be. So, you know, I do have a song, I think it's like five minutes, and um, it's called Addicted. And it, it's a story, and it has, like, you know, a whole from start to beginning. And it ended up being, like, around five minutes. But, yeah, definitely when you're going to perform it or anything like that, you got to condense it down. And, I mean, I guess writing for so long, like I said, writing for, for the newspaper, just different stuff like that, you just... You know, you pretty much just got to chop it up, you know, and take out, basically get the punchline for everything. You got to make for sure everybody's going to get your whole point across in the subject. There's a lot of songs I hear, sometimes you get kind of lost in it, you know? Absolutely. So we just have to know how to word everything, and I mean, I guess that's where the whole writing comes into play, you know, and um, combining it with music and Absolutely. You know what? I noticed your Victoria's Secret song is really short. It's like two minutes long. Do you plan on extending it, and why? Um, yeah, it's really short. Um, actually, my first version of it was intended for a third person to hop on it. I was thinking of a, um, another artist to get on it. And it just, I don't know, I, I, I don't know if I ended up, everyone ended up loving it so much. I ended up putting it out the way it was, and then I kept saying, you know, I'm going to get this third artist to get on here with me to finish the story and I said first I just wanted to see before I asked anybody to do it you know what people thought of it first uh -huh. I first put it out there everyone loved it the way it was you know and honestly you know a song doesn't need to be five you know six minutes and everyone's like wow you put that perfectly I can see the whole story and everything although it's short you know you got from the beginning to the end in two minutes and it's great the way it is you know you really don't need to add you know another person so i just kind of just left it the way it was and i just recently did um a remix to it and it is a longer version of it and i do have two fantastic artists that i worked with um chunk he's out of the bay area as well and um an artist called no sweat that i worked with as well who did his third verse and he's out of mobile um alabama and um, everyone, I just kind of did that, and everyone is, is loving that as well. So it is an extended version of it now. So. Oh, that is wonderful. That as well. So that brings us up to the second song. Give us the name of your second song. Um, the second song you have is called Snakes. It's a song that me and another artist did, um, Tom the Bishop, and he is from out in Las Vegas. So that is going to be on me and his upcoming album. Okay, so you, did you guys write this together, or did you just... Uh... He wrote his, well, see, this is what I really 
uh, enjoy when I work with different artists. You know, I love the fact when another artist respects me as a writer. Now, you know that the whole rap game is male-dominant, and usually working with a lot of males, they like to be in control of what, especially if it's going on their album, because this song was intended just to go on his album. But, you know, I loved working with Tone because he came to me and he was like, you know what, I heard some of your music. I love it. I know that you write. I'm going to go ahead and write my verse, and I want you to go ahead and design and do everything else to the, to the song. And I'm going to, you know, respect you enough that you're going to come out with something hot while I can put it on my album as well. And I was just overjoyed with that because, you know, usually, like I said, a lot of men, you know, in the rap game, they don't really trust the female to write, you know, some stuff or put it on, you know, and especially just put it on their album alone. And um, he said, you know, I'm going to write my verse, and, you know, we'll, we'll see what you come up with and design the song. And I did that, and... Um, yeah, so he wrote his verse, and I pretty much wrote the hook and everything else for the song, and it came out hot. So we decided to put it on both of our albums. Oh, that is sweet. That is sweet. All the way from uh, San Jose, California, huh? Yes, all the way from San Jose, California. <laughs> <laughs> San Jose girl, huh? Weather out here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the weather out there? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Oh, okay. Hey, you know, it's beautiful out here. I'm looking at the palm trees coming up to the studio, and I'm like, wow, it's beautiful out here in Hollywood. Well, you know what? I really like that, that dress you're wearing today, boy. You fly today. Thank you. <laughs> you are not playing. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I got to get all Hollywood up. <laughs> you got to get all dialed up to be on the Jeffrey Henderson show, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, can't come half stepping with Sharp Jeffrey over here. That's right. That's right. We certainly appreciate that look, though. I tell you. Look, it's hot. <laughs> Just had to compliment you on that. Thank you. Okay, so we come up to our next song. Tell us what the next song is, and we're going to get into that song. We're going to talk a little bit more about that song because we have another song behind it. And I'm just enjoying this. I mean, I'm really enjoying this uh, nice interview with you. This is very special. Okay, this is um, my song, Snakes, that will be on me and Tone the Bishop's upcoming album. So be on the lookout for this one as well. Okay, here we go. Snakes by Suki Lee. Check it out. I'm on top of the world, niggas can't touch me Got a Steve Wonderflow, niggas can't see me They beneath me, like shoes on concrete My gun on your cheek, your bitch on my cheek I'm the agent and I see, so I'ma be brief Super cocky, since that booty bra had dumped me It's nothing, she was just another piece to me sweet She caught my plane ticket, told you I'm a P.I.M.P I'm sickering with one, my wife is in the clouds, huh What you hate to say, oh yeah, your body may wow Tired of your suckers, trying to burn that man I get on some block shit, I stop the money coming I'm strong enough to do it, I'm strong enough to stop it That's all that magic warfare, you don't wanna go there nah. Ain't trying to say nada, you know about us Me and Suki Lee used this music for a couple of saying Watch what? out for snakes, stay ahead of the race They backstab you in the back, smile in your face When the cops come running, they empty out your place Snitching harder than a paparazzi tape Watch out for snakes, stay ahead of the race Backstab you in the back, smile in your face When the cops come running, they empty out your place Snitching harder than a paparazzi tape I used to be a sick little mamacita Caught him snitching to an under senorita Drinking mojitas, I don't even believe ya When you was locked up, I was the only one to see ya You hanging with the cops like you got jungle fever Things is getting better now, no groupie chatter now Try to run me to the ground with Suki, shut him down Rats running packs you taught me that. If he dropping off million, make them count it back. Four sacks, six sacks, I'm missing a rack. Bodies coming up missing, now who you point the blame at? Got me on the stand, singing judges oath. If I go down, nigga, don't drop the soap. I got niggas that will hang your neck with a rope. Deceased by contraband with the fuck you know. Explanation for death is all the warden wrote. Watch out for snakes, stay ahead of the race. They backstab you in the back, smile in your face. When the cops come running, they empty out your place. Snitching harder than a paparazzi tape. Watch out for snakes, stay ahead of the race. They backstab you in the back, smile in your face. When the cops come running, they empty out your place. Snitching harder than a paparazzi tape. Don't waste your time making lies. Suki tone is on.
Welcome back to the Jeffrey Henderson Show.